Well, well, the question is how well, I guess straight away, how well Gutknecht is going to cope with the southpaw style of Bremer. And he's started fast, Gutknecht, trying to put the heat on him right from word go. You see that Bremer with that height advantage, that reach advantage. He'll just uh, feel good necked out, but trust me, 30 wins by knockout in 38 victories tells its own story. Bremer can be a heavy-handed fighter. Been a pro since 1999. Yeah, but good neck already being slightly more positive than I thought he would be. Caught Bremer with the right hand just then before the clinch. hand of Bremer's can be a dangerous weapon. But are his best days behind him? A couple of fights last year, had a four-round stoppage win over the Spanish champion Jose Maria Guerrero, and then in April had a points win over a Namibian. With that terrific amateur record claims 95 wins in 100 fights, that's no knockdown. And uh, Terry O'Connor's going to have to get a grip of this because good next, the tactics are clear. He's going out there. Yeah, he's got to have a word, hasn't he? It's all very well holding your glove out, but it seems to be a premeditated, premeditated uh, instruction and tactic to get out there and rough him up and show him that you're not just a, not just a fancy down. But he knows that Bream is also a volatile character, trying to get in his head because he is also a very good boxer. If Bream is so trying to get in his head, ruffle him up. Nice right hand from Goodnecht. Well, I, I'm surprised at just how aggressively Goodnecht has started this fight. They've thought about it, as you say, Barry, and it's clearly a premeditated intention to get in there and impose yourself from word go. Yeah, they want to stifle the work, don't they, Bremen? And, and so far they've been relatively successful in doing so. But you always have to have respect for Bremer's powers, particularly in that left hand. And he might walk onto something, so he has to be aggressive and be smart with it. I've not Goodnick. seen the Bremer big left hand so far, have we? Good neck getting in there again, roughing him up. The heads clashed. See, Bremer was pouring anxiously at his brow. He was worried that there might have been a cut there. There's the body shot from Bremer. And again. Good up because there, head shot that time. Interesting opening round, this one, Barry. It's got the makings. Oh, good shot. Good net. Good right hand. And that's a good opening round to the champion. Yeah, good round for good net. Very positive. I thought he would have been a little bit tentative in that round, looking for, for opening, seeing what Bremer had to offer, but he went straight out on the offensive, put pressure on, on Bremer, tried to stifle his work, and uh, had a good round in doing so. Yeah, it was an impressive start quickly out of the blocks not letting Bremer settle into any sort of rhythm a coach who will take no nonsense that's the best moment that Bremer had it was halfway through the round one he landed with a straight one two but Apart from that, and maybe a, a left uppercut, I think all the real decent shots were landed by Gutnick. Opening round then, clearly to the champion in the black shorts, Edward Gutnick. Solid body shot from Bremer. Oh, and another. Lovely left hand there from Bremer. And he's got that little bouncy style hasn't he you know, bouncing back and forth a little bit like Ricky Burns does you know so you can set yourself against a fighter like that if he, gets, if he gets into a rhythm good neck's in trouble oh good work from good neck again 
bossing the fight in close and trying to turn it into a brawl. He wants to use his physical strength, doesn't he? And he is so far, I think. The great effect of spinning Bremen on the ropes. Impressive opening for Gugnex, but the question is, will he be able to sustain it? Bremer just starting to pick him off a little bit more with that right-hand jab, which is a decent weapon. Well, Bremer wants to slow the pace, doesn't he? He wants to know using his footwork just to keep uh, Gutnik from among those attacks so he can keep the pace nice and slow and land with his technically better punches. And to be fair, with the Salfo and Orthodox fight that their feet are going to get tangled up quite a lot. Bremer has got his own blue t-shirted army of supporters up in the bleachers, but the bulk of the crowd very much behind Goodnight. The left hand there from Bremer, right on the pipe. It's got the makings this one, Barry. Yes, yeah, good fight so far, isn't it? Technically quite good as well. Good from Bremer. Come on, come on, come on. Those are his fans standing chanting at the back of the arena. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. Sometimes the atmosphere in German fights can be distinctly soporific, but there's a committed partisan sort of atmosphere here. A bit of work there by Bremer just jabbing and spinning off. Much better round this for Bremer. Yeah, he's boxed well, hasn't he? Been allowed, but he's made it from long range. Kept Gutnick on the end of the shots. Well, Gutnick showed the urgency in the first round. And I think it surprised Bremer, but Bremer has settled down very much more into this fight here in the second. Yeah, that's a good solid round there for Bremer. Those are the Bremer fans you saw there. And they'll feel a little bit happier about things now. Carsten Rover is the trainer of Jürgen Bremer, who for many years was with Michael Tim. Universal trainer. Yeah, Bremer, most importantly for Bremer. He had his foot on the outside most of the time, though no, just hangs with a nice one too with his foot on the inside, but he, he had the territorial vantage with his with his feet. And that's why Gutner couldn't really get up get him close get close to him, couldn't get him on the ropes in the corners, because he was always turning to face the opponent. Arthur Abraham on the left hand side of your picture with tonight's promoter, Mr. Sauerland. It's a 12-rounder for the European light heavyweight title. Here we go into the third. Jürgen Bremer on the right-hand side of your picture, the southpaw. Good work. Bremer not happy. No, not at all. You said earlier on, uh, Barry, Jurgen Bremer facially, 10% Matt Dawson. Yeah, he looks a bit like Matt Dawson, doesn't he? Sure, not sure Matt would like it, but I can <laughs> see where you're coming from. Oh, That's good. Beautiful work. And a good response as well from Gutnick. A lovely combination there from Bremer. Terry O'Connor trying to keep things going. The right hand there from Gutnick. That's a 
One which landed pretty flush as well. They just got Bremer square on, didn't he? he? Squared his feet up on the ropes and paid the price. Good neck not to throwing the volume of punches that he was in the opening minute or two. He's looking to get close, isn't he? But he's just walking on to Bremer and taking too many shots. Just needs to keep his foot on, on the outside and keep dipping his knees, rolling his shoulders when he's moving forward. Bremer very much the more mobile. He's the man with the better footwork. Physical strength advantage may lie with Gutnecht. And he is the younger man as well. Possibly the fresher of the fighters. Although Bremer's looking very much up for it, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And at the moment, Bremer's got a nice little rhythm going and they're boxing at his pace, aren't they, at the moment? Yep. And we said that in the early stages, didn't we? You know, he let... Goodneck lets Bremer get into his rhythm and fight his fight, which he has done pretty much for the last couple of rounds. Then Bremer's going to be in his comfort zone. Good body shots. Round's gone. We've got it two rounds. Anxiety in the voice of Uli Wagner than sometimes. Yeah, well, it was always a feeling that Goodneck had to put a lot of pressure on Bremer. And maybe forego at the first, the earlier rounds. But he just needs a little bit more head movement going forward, a little bit more educated pressure. Or what he did in the first round, just totally rush Bremer and make it more of a, a, a gunslinging wild affair. Jurgen Bremer recently became a dad. Baby daughter Jasmine with his girlfriend Tatiana and he says that he has got plenty of motivation to get back to the glory days and he put his punches together well there and that's exactly what he does doesn't he, he puts his put the punches in combination together lovely he's got a silky style and good neck who looks a little bit pedestrian by comparison has got to get into range and find a way to maybe take Advantage with his greater power. Well, Gutt that gets the gets the warning off the referee there, but for me, I think Bremer was the fault. He went low, grabbed the waist of, of Gutnick. Oh, lovely work there, finishing with a body shot as well. And the crowds are roaring on Gutnick, but Bremer is putting his punches together well crowd firmly behind the champion but Bremer showing signs that he's clearly the superior boxer and again they're just hooking off the jab Bremer got the just needs to take his left foot on the outside doesn't he just needs to move to his left Oh, great roar of response there, but most of those punches from Goodnecht were being taken on gloves and arms. That's a lovely jab, cracking shot. Solid punch, isn't it? Now he catches Bremer a little bit off balance and trying to get into range to land the big right hand. Is there a cut in there? Looks like a cut on Bremer's right eye. There was the clash of heads early on and there was a reddening around that right eye of Bremer. But if there is a cut here as early as this, and there is, there's blood there. But again, a lovely combination there from Bremer. Well, is that going to be a factor? Looks as though it's in the corner of the eye. Terry O'Connor having a good look at it, seeing what the damage is. But there's going to be work for the Bremer corner as they go back now at the end of the round. And it's been a good round for Bremer, the injury apart. Yeah, another good round there for Bremer. Gutnick had his, his successes in that round, but Bremer dominated that again with his sharp combination. Now, let's have a close look at this. Let's see if we can see what this injury actually entails here. Did you see whether it was a punch or a clash of heads that did it, Barry? I didn't see it, but I would... Um, Kutnik did down with a nice little right hand, well, a solid right hand, so maybe that was enough to 
to cause the cut, but I didn't really see it at any particular moment. He has got those sort of raw bone features, hasn't he, Bremer? Well, there's punches going in there. Is the cut there then? It might have been that left hook just before sure. that combination. I'm, sure that's, I'm not sure they've got the right moment there. I'm not convinced that's where it happened. Well, I can think of a few referees who might ask for a little bit of that grease to be taken away. One of them, let's see. Hey, you... Yes. Oh, no, he's letting it go on. Well, you've got it three rounds to one in Bremer's favour here, Barry, and I certainly wouldn't disagree with you. Yeah, I think, you know, I, th I think Kutnick's had some successes in the rounds, but just not enough. For me. Oh, oh lovely good. shot, that's quality. That's a lead up inside the jab, that's a really difficult punch to throw. And again, lovely combination from Bremer. And that back comes good next. You can see why Bremer was a top amateur, can't you? Because he's so accurate and technically very, very smooth. Oh, I mean, absolutely. The three round format and fighting at range, picking your man off with that quality jab and able to throw single shots and get away. I mean, he is absolutely made for the amateur oh, game. Most definitely, really is. Beautiful job. Blood's now seeping from the injured eye, though, once more. And we're only in the fifth round. Yeah, it's a worrying sign, isn't it? But apart from that, he's boxing really well. Look at that, one, two, and it's making Gutnick miss. Complaining that Gutnick is trying to use his head. No knockdown, says the referee. a stumble again is it yeah this was some wrong with his boots he can't stay on his feet good neck looking across and laughing at him <laughs> and he thinks that maybe he's got his man going and he's really trying to tee off now here in this fifth round back comes Bremer what a round! Oh, cracking. Tremendous stuff from both men. <laughs> Solid body shot from Goodneck this time. Well, Alongside the two knockdowns, or not knockdowns, stumbles, pushes, call them what you will, this has been a very, very high quality round. There's some terrific boxing there. Great work there by both fighters. Again, another bring around for me. But good stuff, right? Good quality work, both fast, heavy shots. This is where a corner man earns his, earns his corn. Now, is it the eyelid? In which case, that is altogether more serious. I suggested earlier on that I thought it was in the nick of the eye, but I think it might be the right eyelid which is cut. Gashed. How happy is he? Is He's a star in the corner, isn't he? You don't argue with him. Well, he obviously feels that good. He can put up more pressure on. On Bremer, maybe, you know, not letting his hands go enough. There's an end. Marsou, that's the kind of blues again. Well, on your card, Barry, Bremer is in control of this fight. At this stage, five rounds gone, and you've got him with a four round advantage. Yeah, I think he's won the last four rounds, most definitely. Uh, that last round, that last round, certainly good neck had his moments. And no doubt the good neck fans will think that their man maybe did enough to win that last round. The referee just trying to keep the heads out of the equation. Watch the heads. You can hear Terry O'Connor shouting, and there's a lot of bumping and boring going on there. 
Gutnick, I think, is the man who's going in there looking to really rough Bremer up. And there's another cut, this time on the forehead of Bremer, I think. Maybe just a smear of blood, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell, isn't it? That eye's looking in worse for wear, though. It really is punch for punch stuff, isn't it? Jürgen, Jürgen is the champ from the Bremer fans, and they feel their man is getting on top. What a good fight. Yeah, great stuff. Terry O'Connor's done a pretty good job as well at this stage of letting the action flow. Like a right hand there from Kutnik. And then back comes Bremer. It's that sort of fight. It really is. A European title at stake. I'd be prepared to bet a significant amount of money that uh, one Nathan Cleverley will be watching right now and thinking, well, whoever comes in out of these two, I can take care of. But he'll also recognise that it is a finely balanced fight. And that cut of Bremer's is going to be a factor, and perhaps more of a factor, the further this fight goes. Not yet at the halfway stage. Yeah, it's looking nasty in the corner, to do some tremendous work to stop the flow of blood. But again, another very hard round to score, isn't it? It's really, who has the better? Maybe for me, I just think Bremer's punches are more standout. But Goodneck has kept the pressure on, and he's had his moments. The last round was close, and this is another one, which I think you could look at it either way. Goodneck is seen as the aggressor. Swedish judge, Polish judge, and the Spanish judge watching the action here, which is fast and furious, right up to the bell oh, to end yeah. another really dramatic round. Brilliant stuff. The fight. European light heavyweight title at stake. Oh, Beautiful work from Bremer. A shake of the head from Gutnex, but he knew he knows that he pierced his guard with those, and a lovely body shot as well. Cracking start to the round from the challenger, Jürgen Bremer. You have to give Kutnik a little bit of praise there, because he took a decent left, a little cracking left hand, didn't he? But he took it well, with no complaints. He has a good chin. He needs to move his head more. Just standing there, hoping he can counter. Bremer is not going to work for him. Lovely jab from Bremer, the smile from Gutnecht, as much as to say, well, it's not done anything to me, that's all very well, but it landed flush and it knocked back his head. Those uh, handsome features, though, not too much ruffled so far. Gutnecht is not marked up in marked comparison to Bremer. Well, and he's, uh, he's telegraphing our right hand, isn't he, now, and Bremer just keeping his hands up nice and high, blocking it with the, with the gloves. Animated advice coming from the good necked corner. That's where you're watching from with that camera angle. But he needs to get close, doesn't he, Gutnick? He's not going to win this fight from long range. And that's the reason why. This is where he needs to let his hands go, John. Uh, Bremer doing a pretty good job of tying him up there in close. The older man, the man with 40 fights on his record, Jürgen Bremer, at this stage is the man throwing the more leather. Nice right hand in there from Gutnick. Needs a good last minute, though, if he's going to take this round. But look at the reply from Bremer straight away.
Got Nicholas to move his head. At the moment, he's too much of a stationary target for Prima. It's a tough fight, a grueling fight. Last few seconds now of this seventh round, which for me, Bremer has dominated for the most part. The champion, Gutnex, is not letting enough punches go, looking for that big right hand and can't find the clean talk, the clean contact. Good round for Bremer. And I've got what it takes to beat him. Well, at this stage on our card, the challenger, it seems funny to say that, doesn't it? The challenger, Jürgen Bremer, he is the man for us who is winning this fight. Yeah, I got him quite a fair distance up now, haven't I? Even though it's a very close fight, I think on my card he's a few rounds up. You've got him five rounds to two, Barry. Yeah, just think the cleaner punches, the cleaner work. I think a couple of those have been close. Oh, so the, if it was, so if it, definitely yeah, was I mean, it, it, it could, it could certainly be closer. But I don't think you can make much of an argument that Gutnacht would be ahead. And it's from this range, just Brahm again through with, with those right-left combinations, just too frequent, and they're the punches that stand out. Gutnacht is just beginning to look a little bit disheartened for me. I don't think there's quite the, I don't think there's quite the belief in him. He's having to eat so many of these southpaw jabs from Bremer, who's putting his punches together really well. He needs a moment of success. He needs a big spell in this fight now to impose himself once more. Yeah, I, th I think Gutnacht needs to get a little bit on, get a little bit of bounce in his step, doesn't he? On the balls of his feet. A little bit of energy in his work, just roll on to Bremer, but at the moment he's a little bit flat-footed. And you're not going to beat Bremer to the punch. It's better, he needs more of that. Gets in with the right hand, and another one, good next. And another, might just give him a bit more belief this is what he needs needs to keep the pressure on now yeah, and good uppercut as well oh. three left hands there from Bremer yeah I can hear the admiration in your voice there there was a little chuckle of the left hand and the right hand getting through with such accuracy he really is pimpled isn't he and with that backhand uppercut as well that left uppercut he's been very accurate all night with that there's a lovely variety about Bremer's work isn't there he's deceivingly good isn't he i mean no deceivingly clever i should say Eighth round nearing its conclusion. It's looking as though it's going to be a fight. This one, which goes right down to the wire. It's got distance fight written all over it now. Punches thrown after the bell. And again, I know I'm a lover of the technical stuff, but that was another round for Bremer for me. Good. 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 successes. Just not enough. Done well with the injury. They have been really well, haven't they? Yeah. It's not clever, that. Yeah. It's in a horrible spot. It looks pretty deep as well, doesn't it? Yep, they've kept him going. They've worked away. Plenty of experience in that corner. No panic. And fair play to Terry O'Connor. He's let them do their work as well, which is always important. He's got a job to do here, Mr. Wegner. There's Hernandez, who was to have topped the bill tonight. And there's the broken left hand, which he incurred in sparring. Yes, yeah, a shame. Good fighter, isn't he? Oh, cracking to watch. Even when he don't box his best, like he, like he did against Ross. What a fight that was. A cool Cuban and a very good fighter. <laughs> We're in the ninth round now. Yeah, for me, this is where Kutnik needs to 
Well, he's going to get the. Uh, Don't let me do that. Okay. Other ones I'll have to do it. Okay. I'm okay. well, okay. told him in no uncertain terms, and Gutnack understands. Don't make me do it. Carry on, and I'm going to take a point. And if Gutnack lost a point at this stage, and he's in dangerous territory there, dragging his man down. Now, is he going to get it taken away? Well, that was coming. And I just wonder whether, with that, Gutnecht desperation and has the fight now drifted away from him. It might be that he's got to knock Bremer out now. He was pulling down on his neck, but to be honest, Bremer didn't put up too much resistance, did he? To be honest, Bremer. It's the old pro. Yeah, definitely. You know, he knew. He knew. Yeah. He knew that Terry O'Connor was looking for any sort of infringement and he made the most of it. And the problem we have now, though, is Gutnick might feel that, as I do, that he has a mountain to climb, go for broke and be an easier target to hit. Well, I think he's got to knock Bremer out if he's going to win this one now. Unless the judges are seeing a very, very different fight. If you said, John, some of those early, earlier rounds were closer than what I, what I gave it, and uh, it would be a closer fight, but you can only have one winner, can't you? However close you have it. Jürgen, Jürgen, that's the chanting you can hear from the Bremer fans, who might be outnumbered, but they're certainly vociferous. <laughs> Big effort from Gutnecht in this round. Good uppercut again there from Bremer. Gutnecht has shown he's got a good chin. Yeah, and a good and a good engine as well, John. He's very tired, but he's throwing lots of shots again. There's not much behind him, John, but he's, he's throwing them all the same. If Goodnecht were able to pull this out of the fire now, it really would be a win. <laughs> tired arms. Got to be aching through the endeavour of nearly nine rounds completed. Good body shot from Bremer, and then back comes Good next once more, just bounced off him. A tribute to the conditioning and the preparations. Yeah, both, both fighters very tired. He's getting ragged in the closing stage of this round. That was the moment at which the point deduction came. That'll be a talking point afterwards. Did Bremer play for it? Yeah, he most definitely did, but. Gutnick was pushing it on the back of his neck, so you know he was warned, and it's one of those things. I know he has to find some some reserves of energy from somewhere now. And he needs a big shot, doesn't he? Now just to really turn the fight with the momentum in his favour. Tough in there now. These two guys have given their all. Both of them landing simultaneously with heavy shots. Another warning from the referee to Gutnick, telling him again, don't pull your man down. You can see Gutnick kind of just waiting for Bremer to throw that backhand so he's going to load. That's the right hand he was looking for, and it landed pretty flush on Bremer. We've already seen one spectacular knockout tonight. It might be that Goodneck needs something similar. Landed a really solid right hand there, which set up that attack. <laughs> oh. And he asked for that, trying to be tricky. Paid the price. Oh, good work from Goodneck, though. These are two dog-tied fighters in there now. Who's going to have the engine to keep it going right to the final bell, if indeed it goes that far? Oh, good combination there from Brahim Ever. Gutnick comes back with his own shots. He's been good in this round, hasn't he, Gutnick? Well, both know all about going the championship distance on six occasions. Each man has had to go the 12-round distance. And who's the stronger now? Perhaps Gutnecht is getting the better of this round. 
Big attack from the champion. He's fighting with real pride. Digging so very, very deep, Barry. And pulling his man down again. Now what's going to happen? Well, that's Bremer looking for the floor, that is most definitely. Boos from the crowd. Well, if he got another point taken away, it really would be. Moving now into the 11th round. Oh, he's worried about uh, Terry O'Connor possibly taking another point off his man. Good next is certainly walking a fine line. Or is it that Bremer's playing the game? Well, it's a little bit of both, isn't it? But Gutnick is another big round for me. Oh, great left hand from Bremer, but Gutnick just blinked and walked through it and kept coming forward. To be fair to Terry O'Connor, he's doing all he can not to give another warning. I think if he does it again, I think there's going to be a point. And he can't complain, he's had the warnings. Heads going in. Bremer has fought now for, what, five rounds with that injured eye? Yeah, he's done a great job, haven't he? Oh, what desire, though, from Goodneck, the champion. And he looks the stronger man now, a little bit unsteady, Bremer, as he went across the ring. And Goodneck thinks he can finish it off here. Well, if Wagner on the ring apron, what's all that about? Well, I think Terry O'Connor stopped the action for no reason at all, almost. Or seemed to almost stop the action. Oh, good shot from Bremer. What a top-class fight this has been. Terrific matchup. Bremer started the round off so well, didn't he? Landed with nice straight shots down the pipe. And Kutnick came back with a spirited attack. He is physically so strong, Gutnick. And perhaps the fact that he's the younger man now, he's pulling him down again. He's going to lose a point this time, surely. Well, he's let him off again, and he's a lucky boy. To be honest, Bremer's going in with a head low as well. But yeah, he's, he's been lucky not to get another point taken away. Oh, great stuff from both sides. Yeah, from both sides. Quality combination from Bremer, and then look at the attempt. Now, that surely is not pulling down. That's ducking low. Again. <laughs> well, you know, Barry, you've been in there. He's, it is an element of Bremer playing for it. Oh, he most have Bremer clever. Very clever. There again, there again. But for me, even though Bremer's landed with some clean shots, I just think the, old, the output of Gutnick was enough to give him that round. Boos and jeers from the crowd who contributed to this in no small part. It's a feverish atmosphere. That's happened. How do you want to leave the hand and be like? Concentrate, Jonge. Come, concentrate. So you've now got it 7 4, Bremer. Yeah, and I think that round was close, but for me, I just think Gutnick just threw so many punches. Well, two very tired fighters. I've certainly got it closer than that, I think. Uh, good next. And at this stage of the fight as well, I think good next is the guy with the momentum now. I think Bremer's trying to fiddle his way up through it now, and he's trying to old man him out of it. Oh, yeah, he was definitely, yeah, and he's looking, he's looking for that public one, isn't he, Bremer? But I think if Bremer keeps it at long range, no. If he can. And he, win, he wins the title. We will see. 12th round. 
one way or another, this is going to be dramatic. Flurry of punches from Bremer and then using his experience to tie good next up. Quality from both sides. And Bremer again playing for that one, surely. And Terry O'Connor knows it and tells him. And so there's the crowd. Good shot, good uppercut. And a lovely backhand again there from uh, Bremer. Gutnick doesn't he half takes a shot, doesn't he? Really got a real granite chin. This has been a very good fight, another very good fight from Germany. How many, how many times have we said that since we've uh, been on air, since Box Nation's been in existence? We've had some tremendous action from Germany, and we've got it for you here again tonight. And that's where Bremer's most comfortable, when he's on the balls of his feet, allowed to move. Well, Bremer stumbling down and saying that he was dragged down and Terry O'Connor not having it this time despite the histrionics I don't know why Brain is looking for the public warning because he's you know, in my eyes he's winning the fight controlling things when they're at long range I don't see why he's looking for them well, I think he's tired I think he's been running on empty for the last two or three rounds, Jürgen Bremer. He knows it, and I think Gutnack knows it as well. Now, you can't do that. That is around the back of the head. I think that's frustration and anger from Gutnack. Bremer stumbling around, lurching around, looking for that point, and he's not going to get it. No, and giving this round away because he's looking to mess around. Oh, this is good next round, no question. Oh, it is for me, anyway. Yeah, no, no, me also. So far, he's doing well. Last 20 seconds. An untidy last round. Down he goes again. The Gutnick fans might think there's an argument for taking a point away from Bremer. Well, Gutnick did throw him to the, through the ropes. Well, there's the final bell. They think they've got it. That's the Bremer corner. That's Carsten Rover. Uli Wegner can't believe what's gone on in there. He thinks that his champion maybe has been given the old man treatment and a little bit of the old pro act from Bremer has hustled him out of it. Yeah, he definitely, definitely old man in the times, I think. Oh, I wasn't happy when he's looking to cheat his way through those last few rounds. Bremer, no, they did just throw him through the ropes, but also Bremer ducking low constantly, got away with it a few times. Did but you give that last round to Gutnick? I did, yes, yes. In which case, you've got it, Bremer, by a couple. By a couple of Seven points, five. Yeah. And a good fight. Good fight. Has the European title changed hands? Gutnick is celebrating. He thinks he's won. Round five. That's a key round. Five and six. They were close. If they've gone to Bremer, then it could be that the title's changed hands. If they've gone to Gutnick, it might be that he somehow, despite the point deduction, scraped his way to retaining his title. Good fight, though. It was, yeah. It all depends what you go for, isn't it? The, the, the technically much better boxing from Bremer, or the physical strength and maybe possible punch output of Gutnick. Eddie, Eddie, those are the Gutnick fans. The guys in the blue T-shirts, they're the Jürgen army. All quite good spirited banter between them so far. Well, not too many boos for him now. He got a rather hostile reception when he walked in. 
He may well have a colourful past, but he's shown he's a fighter. Yeah. Although in the last few rounds, there was a bit of kidology. Yeah, there was, but it was a cracking fight, wasn't it? You know, and I think the crowd appreciated what they've seen tonight. And as good as the fight as the fight was, you'd fancy Nathan Cleverly with either of these fighters, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. I think Nathan would be too quick for either of them. He'd, uh, he'd have the speed to cope with a southpaw like Bramer, I think, and I think good next. I just don't think he'd be technically good enough to, to get to Nathan. Yeah, I'm with you on both points. Bramer could give him some anxious moments, I suppose, just because of the style, but yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I think Nathan knows enough to, to, to get past either of them. So that was, you know, judge this on its merits. That's a European title fight, and that was a very good European title fight. It was more than just exciting. I think it was technically very, very good, mainly from Bremer, but also Gutnick threw some lovely shots. You know, had some good educated pressure. That fight had a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Good television, wasn't it? If you've watched this tonight, you've not been shortchanged. Well, you used to think back watching German fights back 10, 15 years ago that they were all boring, real technical boxing matches, but now you get a few wars, don't you? And then it's uh, well, the of, place to go at the moment. A lot of those Sven Ocker fights, if they'd happened in your back garden, you'd have thought about drawing your curtains, wouldn't you? I would have been a massive hit in Germany. Plenty of smiles between the two now, and an anxious wait. Not an easy night for Terry O'Connor. Who's got it? Master of ceremonies, Roman Roll, is poised up there. And in just a moment or two, we will find out if Edward Goodnecht remains European champion, or if the title has Meine changed hands. Damen Here we go. Herren, hier kommt das offizielle Urteil. Punktrichter Manuel Oliver Palomo aus Palma de Mallorca, Spanien, wertet den Kampf 114 zu 113. Leszek Jan Kowiak aus Krakau, Polen, wertet den Kampf 116 zu 111. Und Michael Huck aus Göteborg, Schweden, wertet den Kampf 117 zu 110. Alle drei für den einstimmigen Sieger nach Punkten und neuen Europameister im Halbschwergewicht. Bremer gets it. Schwerin, Jürgen Bremer. Seven rounds on one card I thought was a little bit fanciful 117 110 116 111 that's kind of more towards where we had it 114 113 well Barry Jones had it by a couple of rounds that's just by the single point but the title has changed hands it's the WBO title eliminator as well and Jürgen Bremer's sweet boxing skills have overcome the youth the desire of Edward Goodnecht, that point deduction played its part, but ultimately was not decisive. We have